have you had a chance to kind of reflect on the records you've broken and, and the season you've had so far this year? No, nah, not really, to be honest. Um, it was going fast. I was just telling Al. And the DBs, like, I mean, in about four weeks, a lot of people's off season is going. I mean, in four days, a lot of people's off season is going to start. So it's crazy, man. It, it started happening fast. Um, obviously, when you think back now, I mean, it's been a long season. It's been a long season. 17 weeks, 18 weeks, complete battle, complete battle. It was good. How much easier is your playoff path if you win this game and are the number two seed? Uh, easier because we're at home, I guess. Um, we always battling for the home seed. I mean, in the playoffs, elimination games, it's big, man. And then our fans, you know, you know, they contribute a lot to these dubs. So it would be great to play in front of them. Did you get a chance to talk to Michael after breaking the record? And if so, what was the uh, general message? You nosy. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, obviously, congratulations. Um, big surreal moment for me, of course. And then just keep battling, keep going. Now it's time to go chase a ring, basically, with the end, of, the end message. And, um, Obviously, I'm with I'm with that, and that's always been my end goal, and it still is. So basically, how much, you said this is not talk, the end goal. No. Yeah. How much talk this week has been about last year in Washington? Is that a message or a lesson? Don't let last year happen this week and focus in. Yeah, uh, just lock in, do be who we are, and as you said, yeah, man, we're not trying to go in Washington and then BS, and then they hit us in the mouth. So just continuing the battle, treat treat this week as if we would next week, and. You know, let the scoreboard do the talk. The division title makes look there's more incentive this year for you guys to, to focus. Last year I think everything was decided. Nah, that, I mean we wanna win the game regardless, right. you know, but uh obviously with a lot more riding on it, I mean we definitely wanna win. Uh, did it mean more to you to get the records, the single season records in sixteen games as opposed to having the extra game? Yeah, it'd have been easier, you know. A lot of people would have said it was fake or whatever because I had an extra game. So it's cool to do it in 16. What do you expect out of, out of the Washington team this week? A lot of effort, a lot of energy, and um, obviously, you know, it might be their last game, so they're willing to put it all on tape, you know, and uh, we understand that. And, you know, made the best man win. We got to go out there, put our best foot forward, play physical, fast, be fearless, and be who we are. At the start of the year, we had talked to you about contracts and that kind of thing. Now that the years you have, and do you feel like when that time comes, that I will be one of the highest in, at my position. Ideally, yeah, for sure. Um, at the end of it all, obviously, once again, I got a goal in mind, and that's to get a ring. So at the end of that, then we'll start talking about everything else. So I'm going to focus on this, and then we'll get on that. Your focus is on the team goal, but individually, have you established yourself at the level you anticipated you would establish yourself this year? Um, most definitely. Uh, definitely one of the elite receivers in this game, you know, and uh, I work my tail off to be that and to say that confidently, you know, so uh, just having that ability and, you know, it's harder to stay. It's, it's good to be elite, but how consistent and how long can you be elite is the next challenge. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. Did you feel you were going into the season or had to develop to the point where you are now with this year? Nah, it just, you know, it wasn't my time then. It's my time now. What How, role has the offense, the changes in the offense played in your higher level of production? Man, just a, keeping the ball moving. Uh, I know that's my job, most definitely. Stay above, you know, stay above the chains. Do what we got to do, you know, to move the balls, to keep our offense out there. Obviously, our defense is battling the tell off. They're playing great. Um, we just got to compliment them. And the only way we can is by giving them seven or three, preferably seven. When, when Dax asked about you, even now, it seems like every time he still says you're just scratching the surface. I mean, how much better do you think you can get him? Listen, we can be better for sure. Um, I've seen him at his best. I mean, we all have, you know, and uh, just the work that we put in, it's just so much that we can do out there on the field together. Um, I feel like. If we if we locked in to start to start the offense, obviously we locked in. All the offense is flowing, man. Anything that Dak wants, he can get to. Run, pass, RPO, scramble, whatever it is, uh, it's available for him. And once we get that ball rolling, it's it's, it's over. Talk about important that Brandon Cooks has been as a complimentary receiver, number two receiver. So he's had two big touchdown catches in the fourth quarter of the past two weeks. You've gone off, but you know Dak has trusted him as clutch as well. Right. Um, obviously, 
I mean, that's what we brought him brought him here for. Um, he's definitely a great vet, man. I, I appreciate him. You know, I tell him that every opportunity I can, even before going on the field, tell him let's be great. Um, because that he is, man. He's he's he works hard. He do the small things right, and um, he knows how to lead, man. His input means a lot to us in this room. He understands that. And he knows that. So uh, what he brings to this team is. Definitely a, rel a reliable source, a reliable option as soon as they shift coverage to me. Um, so, uh, I mean, that's what he's here for. You're at What's the room like when Mike is acknowledging all the guys made the Pro Bowl? With Sadie? What's the room like when Mike is saying everybody made the Pro Bowl? What's the reaction that all the teammates get? Micah? No, Mike, Mike. Mike. Oh, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Uh, I couldn't hear you. But, um, man, it's, it's, it's amazing, man. You know, it's a privilege to obviously be ranked one of the top at our positions, um, all seven of us. And, um, you know, it's a huge honor. We all treated it the same. And, you know, we're grateful. Take it with a grain of salt and continue going. How would you assess your candidacy for Offensive Player of the Year, given you are at the top of your position in a number of stats? Uh, man, I let all that handle itself. I don't really think too much on it. I go out there and play. Um, but Christian McCaffrey definitely been, he deserves it. He's been doing a great job. Um, Obviously, I just seen that he he's sitting out right now. But uh, the way he's been playing, two thousand yards with like twenty some touchdowns, the way he's able to you know carry a load week in and week out, that's that's amazing. That running back too, also. So uh, I feel like that's a bit underappreciated. But I mean, if you want to throw my name in there, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> do you do wet ball drills? Yeah. Like this? For sure, absolutely. What's the benefit to you that you've experienced? Um, whenever it don't rain, so that's the benefit. Um, obviously, when the ball's wet, you got to focus in more. I've, Hand placement is important. The fundamentals come out, you know, and um, I feel like when when it don't rain, you're like, oh yeah, I'm definitely prepared for this. So uh, just stay ahead of the game, stay ahead of the preparation. No, no gloves, right? You said that. Possibly. I didn't say that. No <laughs> sleeves. No sleeves. No visor, maybe. <laughs> but definitely no sleeves. No sleeves. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some leather gloves that you could wear. Um, if these are too slippery. Then, yeah, definitely. Appreciate you Thanks, guys. Thank you, Thank you, you sir. Thanks.